So back in 1983, a little over 40 years ago, I took the first step, received in the mail at home a copy of an alumni magazine from our college. And it had the name and address in there of a graduate of the same year with me, Paula Rosine. So I thought, well, I'll take a chance. So I wrote a note to her addressed to the address. One thing led to another, and we went out on a date, and we got engaged, and we got married, and that was a good long time ago, and we're still married. Praise the Lord. I had to take the first step. We're talking about Luke chapter 17 and verse 14, where Jesus tells some men with leprosy that they are to go and show themselves to the priest. He doesn't heal them first. He doesn't touch them like he does with other lepers but he wants them to take some steps. What are some steps that God might want us to take? Let me mention three this morning. Here's the first. Stop talking about the thing that person did wrong. Stop talking about the thing that person did wrong. Maybe it's someone you know, maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a relative, maybe it's someone from the church, and you, you've, you've brought it up 20 or 25 times, or maybe 75 or 100 times. Let the past be the past. Let it be removed as far as you'd want your mistakes to be removed. Stop talking about the thing that person did wrong. Here's the second thing. Stop talking about the problem that the other person created. Think about how often we talk about the problems other people create and even the news commentators telling us about the problems people are creating. But we become complainers rather than joyful people. Second step, stop talking about the problems that someone else created. Here's a third step. Stop talking about the frustration you had in such and such a circumstance. I know we've all got frustrating circumstances. We wait too long in the doctor's offices and we wait too long for appointments or there's not enough checkers. But if I am continually talking about the frustration I have, guess what? People will see me as a frustrated person and frustrated people are not good witnesses for Christ. That's three pretty good first steps. Stop talking about the frustrations. Stop talking about the thing that someone else did wrong. Stop talking about the problem else someone else created. Ask the Lord to put words of peace and joy and gratefulness in your mouth. I've mentioned that the standard of Christianity is, do I rejoice without ceasing? Do I pray continually? Do I in all things give thanks? How does that start? By taking the first step. Sometimes the first step is what you say. Jesus says to the lepers, go, take the first step. This is your daily devotional for Monday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you pray for the church and pray for me. Hope you'll seek first the kingdom of God and remember the words of Jesus. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. And above all, be ready to take the first step.